Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Trinity Garcia, and I'm from Abraham Lincoln. Four more seven years ago! To the hopeless romantic who sits alone on Saturday nights watching Japanese soap operas and not minding the company of irony, I want to say, Dad, that I'm glad I got your tired eyes, tough thighs, and that I asked so many wise to broad questions that I haven't been able to answer myself without you sitting next to me, both of us impatiently exploring the depths of our mind palaces, their floors harshly scrubbed with small towels soaked in popcorn dreams of what if, and their curtains cut up into shapes from my elementary days when I had a lot of self-doubts. It was sudden when you stopped making reservations to tea time and could only stop by for a clink of appreciation once a month. Either way, once in much, you teach me how to slouch, observe, and question answers until they became bubbles of silence left floating until someone walked through them without even knowing. And to the realist with the mindset of a color-blinded bull that confuses dolor with their vivid reds, fence in her own downfall of desires with it is what it is, I wish you would have told me that your wounds weren't healing but opening wide enough for someone else to step into for a night and bring you mountains with no views of stability only a promise to a perpetual yesterday. I've been meaning to ask the both of you what it is that you think went wrong. I can't remember the last time that you both danced separately to a tune of conflict, your hands refusing to interlace with forgiveness because they were tired of the same choreography. It must have been years ago that you both agreed on something other than a signature to a piece of paper. I wish you would have told me, no matter how young, so that I could have prepared myself for vows that weren't kept but eventually sped through and discarded like ending credits to a s silent film, and to later admit that both of my superheroes had left me alone that day waiting to finish the end of their movie. Through and even before my parents' divorce, my childhood was nothing but an isolated cabin in the mountains of custody. I would write letters to love, asking it to change its color from red to another so that my mother wouldn't confuse pain with pleasure anymore. I'd write letters to time, asking it to slow down enough for tea time to carry into dinner so that my dad would stay longer. But I never got a letter back. So I changed the address to my heart, ripped off the disfigured curtains from my eyes with the realization that through and even after, I think I turned out all right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.